Hey guys, it's Sprout here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be using a fully modded RPK with PRS ammo, very underrated ammo, and I'm going to talk you through a loot rotation that I like doing, also a secret in this video. So stay tuned. Right guys, I was very lucky in the spawn here, spawning at Burnt Out Depot, because this is a place where I will beeline to instead of gas station. And you'll you'll see why shortly when I do enter the secret room here. I forget off the top of my head what key it is. I think it's just Burnt Out Depot key off the top of my head. I've got that many keys for Winthrop Harbour that I forget precisely which ones I need. Now I'm going to creep around clearing out the bots here right before I go to loot. And you can literally just farm the whole place. There's boxes upstairs, there's random drops. Sometimes there's some pretty decent uh, attachments um, and other stuff lying about you can pick up. And of course, the secret room, as you'll see in the video, had a graphics card in. Very valuable, obviously. And sometimes it has a lot more than that. Now, I'm going to caption the rest of the video up until the secret, which is near the end. And it is how to get into fisheries floor two without a key. And I'll show you exactly how you do it. It's a bit of a trick to it, a bit of parkour to do. But hope you enjoy the video.
Right guys, here I am at Fisheries. This is obviously floor one. Now, you can't get into the floor one room without a key, unfortunately. But thankfully, I do have the key on us. That's the door on my left there. I'm just checking all the rooms for stuff. Uh, there's sometimes decent stuff in here. You do get two cases and you get a little room on the right-hand side. But I, I rarely find anything decent in here, to be quite honest. But floor two is usually where... You can get things like drones and intelligence, graphics cards. I've found the golden uh, platinum rings, whatever they are. And I have heard rumours that you can't find crypto coins in there, but I haven't personally found one yet. That's why I always check. Now, I'm going to show you now that I haven't got the key. I'm going to go upstairs to the Fisheries 2 door, which is right here. Look, I haven't got the key. I can't open it. So I'm just going to loot the rest of this building. And in a moment, I'll show you how to get in. So guys, it involves jumping onto the ledge on the side. Now, in this recording here, I went to the wrong side and I realized that once I got up, I was like, oh, wait, it's, it's the wrong side. I'll have to go to the other side. So you have to use this boat here to get up. Now, there's a trick to it because you can get stuck. You have to climb onto the back of it, then sort of crawl around the, the side of it. I tried to be caught here and jump over the street at the top, but it didn't let us. Um, you have to sort of like creep along the outside of it try not get stuck like i've just done here because I, I thought i was going to be stuck here forever you need to be careful so just give yourself a little shimmy onto the side and just walk along like this and then shimmy a little jump up onto the very tip of the boat and then jump across park up and then break the first window and there you are in level two no key whatsoever required unfortunately in this instance all it was inside was an intelligence but it's better than nothing and I didn't have to use a key to get in. I'd imagine once they start figuring this out, they might patch it out in an update. But for now, you can get in without a key and get the loot. And then to get back out, you have to sort of jump onto the ledge and then crouch straight away. It's, it's a bit of a fiddle. But if you haven't got the key and you get stuck inside of there, you know, you're going to have to, like, die or perish or whatever. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you have. And also like the video i'm going to go escape now with 2.1 million worth of loot so it's not too bad not too bad at all anyway guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye bye